Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Uh, and also, well, thank, uh, pfft, I can't speak today. I am speechless. I, uh, in a sense, I actually kind of am. Mainly because we have hit 160 subs. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'll be more flabbergasted once I hit 200, once I hit that point. I do have something planned for that already. Something very lighthearted and not as big as the 150 sub. Um, I did want to thank you guys for that, though, in this video. This video is going to be, like, two things. First off, I'm going to say what's on my mind as far as, like, uh... The subbing mile point, the subscription mile point that we are at right now. However, I do also want to talk about what to expect in the future as far as what's going to happen to this channel. I've got people who have liked and have disliked the past circumstances, but I do want to make something very clear. Given recent circumstances, I'm basically going to be only, it'll only be me working on this channel, and it'll only be specific individuals if I confront them and ask them for, like, one-time show-ups every now and then. Like, D9, at the point I'd actually like to, as I said in a live stream, in his live stream, uh, for what you guys are saying this, it was last week, but... I actually think that I thought it might be a good idea to start doing races with him. Uh, live stream races, like we had done prior to even hitting 100 subs. But I digress. Before talking about that, I do want to give a little bit of insight on what's going through my head right now. So we had stuck around the 150 zone for quite some time, and... Going through that zone, I was going through a lot of personal life... Uh, stress, because of certain circumstances that I've completely 100% blown over at this point, and confliction involving some people I was co-working with, in a sense. Now, not job co-worker or anything like that, it's just kind of like I was working on something with someone else and uh, on my own time, and it's just some confliction happened between me and the individual. Anyway... What kept my chin up about all that is the fact that I had so many people supporting the channel. And it made me very uh, grateful to have supporters. You guys on here, family, supporters, whatever. Honestly, I consider it kind of a YouTube family. Um, all of you, and some of you, some of you who are sub to my channel are legitimate family. Like, my fiance, Amber, is sub to the channel. My father is, and from what I've understood, apparently some other family members that I was unaware of are. <laughs> um, like, it, it, it kind of surprises me, and I mean, it makes me happy to get the support. To me, really, because YouTube is kind of more of a business than anything else, yeah, I do this for my own, like, personal life. It's, it's a hobby, but if it became a job, I'd be... It'd be a job, a career that I would enjoy, big time. If that happens, it's going to be way in the future, but even so, it'd be something that I would accept with open arms, and it's still something at this point that I consider that for one reason. The amount of support that goes into the channel on its own already, but prior to this, was more than I could have ever asked for, but it's also something that I am very grateful for, and because it's a professional thing, I treat it professionally, it's, I always, like, look at those who do support properly, I, I appreciate those who support, but do it professionally. Um, a good example of this actually would be uh, the D9 live streams that I go to almost every single day. Now, I have since he started, and seeing all that positive atmosphere there is something that I've always kind of strived to look for on this channel. There have been negative comments, especially as of recently. I've had to... that have, like, slandered, um, 
me, and actually since she's more frequently showing up, slandering Pink Fox as well. And it's just downright sad to see. And I that's the kind of unprofessionalism that I don't... It's, a, it's like 2010 professional, unprofessionalism. If anybody remembers back then, back in 2010 till about 2015, so many people slandered so many of the who are now bigger channels that it, it just for the sake of them getting views or them getting subs that it's just ridiculous. The way I always saw it, there are channels out there that I watch that I don't exactly agree with some of the things they've done or said, but for me, rather than slandering the person's name, especially on their own platform, unsubscribe and don't go see it again. Simple as that in my mind. There are many people out there who would rather do otherwise, who would rather actually, you know, hate on the person or do certain things that just don't make sense. And some who might see this know I might be referring to you, but I'm also referring to any other individual who has done this. And there are people who have crossed my channel who have seen this kind of stuff and just pff, hate it. And I'm like, sure, fine, you don't like it, don't watch it. That's what I do. I mean, for heaven's sake. This is very controversial at this point, but back in 2018, Jake and Logan Paul. Is any, who remembers that? The whole situation where they went over and pretty much disrespected, I think it was like a, it was like this Japanese forest graveyard thing. Uh, and I, I just remember, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to put a hate comment, but I end up subscribing and not watching this again. That was the last thing I watched from them. I hear a lot of stuff, but outside of that, I don't really watch the channel. I don't hate on them. There's no point in doing that. For all I know, things could have changed. In fact, based off the memes, it looks like it had, but I still don't go back to the channel just because I feel like I'd get that feeling of seeming some kind of disrespect, but instead of hating on them, I'm like, you know what? It's their job. It's their choice. Leave it to them. I'll let them do their thing. And that's kind of what I've seen in, the, in my community that from those who do comment, and it's something that I very much do appreciate. I appreciate those who do make comments down below, and those of you probably already have, who say supportive statements. For example, shout out to one, Little Miss Goth, two, Linda, recently at least, and three, Allison Perez. I have seen many comments from the three of you, and I really do appreciate the things that are said. They're very optimistic, very uplifting, and I really do encourage that. I, I love that kind of commentary. And it's something that I really... It shows the kind of appreciation and professionalism that I'm talking about that makes me go, I am glad to be part of the community that's not just on this channel, but the other channels that I support more than others. T9s, for example. You saw in the video yesterday he was hanging out with me. One thing that I talked to him about is the reason I go to his channel is because of how optimistic the community is. Just It's even more than mine, and I've seen how optimistic you guys can be, and it's something I really do adore. It's the reason I stream with him. So I used to stream with him sometimes, and I'm planning on doing it in the future. So, yeah, I mean, these, it's kind of where my mindset stands on all this. But this does lead me, as much as I love this community, love you guys, for all the support and everything you guys have done for me, for this channel, as much as I do appreciate the 160, there is one thing that we're going to move on to now that kind of does go the opposite direction. But first, thank you guys once again for 160 subs. I really do appreciate it. Let's head over to 170 now. Anyway, I digress. To go on to the more serious aspect of all this, there is the flip side to this coin. I have been noticing a lot of, you guys don't need to worry about saying this because every time I see the hate or slander or anger or downer statements, I always see them and remove them that fast. Once I see them, they're gone. Some of you even have like saw them and gone, gone. So whoever does that out there, thank you. 
Because that is not something that I... No one wants to see. No one wants to see that kind of stuff. Um, but regardless, it does show up quite often. It's not just me either. I'm actually speaking up in this sense, not just for myself, but for connected channels where I usually comment and I see these bad statements. I'm like, this is not necessary. A, a good example of this, I think it's not necessary. It's good to laugh at once you hit a certain point. Like, again, D9 streams. One particular individual... And you could kind of tell it was one person because the names was basically the same thing in a constant different option. So maybe it was a group of six people. I highly doubt it, given the wording, the specific wording being used. How it was being said, how it was being used, you could tell immediately. I could tell at least immediately it was the same one individual. It became humorous. We all made a joke out of it. But the fact of the matter is somebody was attacking and slandering the name of my, one of my best friends. And that kind of upset me and reminded me of the day before. The day before that, I was going through the same thing. Somebody was slandering not just me, but as I said earlier, my fiance. And I was like, this is not <laughs> necessary. I mean, easy to delete, easy for it to just get removed and ignored. That's why I like doing videos because once I see something like that, hide the user from the channel like that. Block the user if necessary, if absolutely necessary, or report the user if necessary. It, it becomes that kind of sternness when something like this happens. And it's just kind of sad to see. It's very upsetting to see in a very large community of light-hearted good people, genuinely good people, again, like the three people I mentioned earlier, Little Miss Goth, Allison Perez, uh, Linda, I could, hell, I could list at least ten people at the very bare minimum on my channel who are very lighthearted people who come to my mind, who I know for a fact are frequently there and supportive. Those three, for example, my dad, uh, who I'm not going to name, but you're probably watching this video now, too. Uh, apparently, my cousin Kayla started checking this kind of stuff out at a point, which, Kayla, if you see this, thank you. <laughs> um, but those five plus... I know Speed King has seen this kind of stuff. He's been supporting it for a while. It was brought up. He was one of the ones who wanted to do like the race thing that I was talking about earlier. So Speed King, there... Uh, I think it's 46, I think that was the number. Apologize if I get that wrong. But, uh, Andrew Wilson, um, there, I can also list out, uh, it, the user goes by Silver Reaper, but that amount of support is still there, um, which surprises me given that <laughs> there has been conflict between me and the person who that was, so... It's still appreciated, nonetheless. But there's Silver Reaper, there's... Uh... Jeez. Names are spacing my mind, so I do apologize for this. Um... Now, I don't have full control over the next channel I'm gonna list. It's technically a channel I co-own. But Beer Belly Bob, one that I do co-own, but it's also co-owned by... Uh... Life Adventures of Christian and... Aaron Pittman two other users on this platform, so shout out to that channel. Um, I don't really use it for anything, but still, nonetheless, glad it's still on there for support purposes. If I were not to count that, then I guess if I... Uh, other larger ones that I can definitely shout out there, more recent, I'll go off with it three more. Good old boy has been around for quite some time, and he has definitely shown verbal support, if not just at least some kind of support. Um, I remember back Raven esque gaming uh, was a user that I actually started. F 
following and supporting and got the support in return, so it's kind of a both ways kind of thing. Country Mermaid, Daniel Priv, there are many I can go through who have been showing me support at least within the past month or so, at the minimum. And it's, regardless of how long the support has lasted on here, it's something that's much appreciated, and all the positivity that comes from all these individuals that I just showed is much greatly, very, very greatly appreciated. It's something that I'd rather see over slander and hate, which I do find every now and then. Not often, but it is something I find every now and then that is very easy to approach a professional way, which does lead to a... It still shows me a problem that has been around on this platform for much longer than it should have been. The amount of professionalism that should be shown on this platform is not that hard to tell. It's something that I've talked about with multiple people IRL, too. YouTube is a platform that's a professional... It's an entertainment platform. It's like, when you think about it, it is like a streaming service. Like, I mean, like Hulu or... Uh, like Netflix, or it's like, in a way, it's kind of like cable TV back in the 80s. <laughs> it's a weird comparison, but anybody who can make connect the dots knows why I say that. But when there comes a positive group, there's always a negative. Little section. With what? With, when there's an action, there's an opposite reaction. It's their law. I said that wrong, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. It's something that has to be approached in a very specific manner. As upsetting as it is, it is the case. Regardless, it is a matter that does need particular good approaching. I think that the way it has been approached recently, as much as I did say report earlier, I have not done that to anybody. I won't do that to anybody unless it gets extremely bad, which hasn't happened yet. But I have hit some people for saying really, really bad things. Just, you know, for the comment section. If you dislike the video, fine. Fine. Means you don't like it. But likes, dislikes, or super likes, as the D9 click that I am part of likes to put it, that's just a way of saying, hey, you can do better, or great job, keep working the way you do. It's as simple as that. That's why this is kind of considered a super like to most people. But nonetheless, the way that D9, the D9 click or the D9 fam, the fam over, again, at Danny's channel goes about things is a very professional way, and it's something that I support. It's why I've been subbed to Danny's, Danny's channel for two years now. Hell, almost exactly to the dot now that I think about it. Nonetheless, it is really something that I do support. And it's... A matter that has been approached properly professionally which I have been following in the footsteps of any who pro approach it that way but also needs to be resolved and kept an eye on but these are my thoughts on that matter moving back to the original topic though because I, I can't stop thinking about it the 160 milestone is something that I thought I would have a much harder time getting to, especially since I saw the numbers going up and down and up and down when we hit between 152 and 155. It went up and down for some time. Nonetheless, I am very grateful for the 160 subs. But I do want to ask you guys one thing before closing off. What do you guys think should be added to the channel? I am going to be doing some live streams very soon, hopefully. Uh, they will be from now on as much with Amber as can be done. Uh, since, again, she is my fiance. She is technically part co-owner of this channel now. It is I, We do consider it our channel, so expect a lot more of that. For those of you who don't like that, I'm sorry, but she is my fiance. For those of you who are asking about it, Definitely expect more. I mean, so I've noticed a lot of people have a tendency to like those kind of videos. The co-ed videos with her because, well, she brings out more of my humor than I'll, even the games do. Games have a tendency to do that a lot. But regardless, 
definitely expect that. But if you guys do have any suggestions on anything you'd like to see on this channel, any other type of IRL stuff that I haven't done yet that you guys already know I'm going to consistently do, just based off the presentation, or any other stuff, basically outside of game reaction or discussion rants like this, or, you know, like the drives with Dave and Amber, which are going to be consistent, um, scattered but consistent, or the random BS videos, if you got any suggestions outside of stuff like that, definitely let me know, because I'm open to variety at this point. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on what you would like to see, as long as it's not one thing and that is pranks. Pranks are not my style of humor, they're not my style of content. I do not like doing them, so that's like the only thing I'll say no to, but if it's not that, give me ideas and I'll definitely try to consider them. Definitely always look at the I definitely always look at the comments. If I miss some, it's usually because I'm super busy, but for the most part, I definitely look at the comments. But looking at the comments presented the other day, and it looks like I do have some that I need to catch up on from months ago. So I'm definitely taking care of that after this video has been recorded, but by the time it's up, I would have already done so. Either way around, thank you guys once again for 160 subs. Uh, definitely looking forward to seeing where this goes from here. Thanks again, guys, and I hope to catch you all in another video of mine. Bye for now.